Close game. I think this game will go right down to the bitter end. I think this will be a game in the 20s. Uh, I don't think this is going to be 38-35. I think, you know, 24-21 be a little bit more like it. Uh, I would tend to go the under if you like to do that. I don't like to bet over-unders in playoff games anyway. It spoils the fun of the game. But uh, I would. Uh, I think this is going to be a very, very close, very competitive game. Something tells me that it's going to be Cincinnati. I, I don't know why. Uh, what they did against Tennessee uh, with that great win, obviously 21-3 down in Kansas City. Uh, coming from behind, Burrow, cool, calm, and collected. They certainly are, are you know, they... Uh, you know, when you think about it, they're due a title. I mean, they've been here twice, lost two heartbreakers to San Francisco. You know, sometimes a franchise is due, and I get the idea that they're due more than the Rams are. I know that's a weird way to look at it, but the Rams are a franchise that's been all over the map. You know, in St. Louis, L.A., Anaheim, back to St. You know, they've been all over the Cleveland. I mean, it, it's a little different for them. So I, I just have a funny feeling with Cincinnati being a team since the late 60s, um, was 69, I think 70 may have been their first year. It may have been 69. I just think that you'll see a situation. I think the Bengals are going to win a game. And I don't like the way the Rams have been a little sloppy at the end of these games. I mean, they were fortunate that the pass was dropped on an intercept uh, from uh, Stafford. It's about nine minutes to go. They would have lost that game. I don't like McVay. Uh, he was awful. Awful. One of the worst cold games I've seen in a long time in the uh, championship setting against San Francisco. You know, challenging spots that never works. Uh, uh, you know, uh, kicking field goals from 54 yards when a guy can't make a 47-yarder in Tampa. Gay. So, I don't know. It just something tells me. Uh, that uh, it might be a it might be a Bengals Super Bowl. I just I, I, for whatever the reason, and I'm very very surprised they're getting four and a half in the game. Uh, I, to me, this game should be two. I mean, this game is as close to a pick'em game as you're going to see. Home field means nothing in the game. I mean, the, we've seen that the Rams don't have a home field, and they're going to have no home field here. Uh, they didn't have a home field in really uh, the week regular. They had a little home field against Arizona, but the Cardinals are a team that doesn't travel. They had uh, no home field in Week 18. They didn't have much of a home field against the Niners in a championship game. So, to me, uh, that would not be a factor whatsoever. I mean, I know we've had a couple of other home field possibilities. Tampa last year with, uh, you know, which no fans, so that didn't hurt them a little bit. Uh, Minnesota could have been a home field there a few years ago, but the, the home field does not play into this whatsoever. Uh, you know, the Rams sleeping in their own bed compared to Cincinnati having to make this a road trip. All right. You want to make a big deal about that? Bengals are here, I guess, right now. Rams are, you know, sort of pretty organized. They might get a little stale. Sometimes you like to go on a road trip if you're a team. You know, I mean, being in the same spot, it feels like, you know, like a regular game. Maybe you don't want it to feel that way. I, I just got a funny feeling the Bengals are going to win. Uh, I, and I think it's a very, very – and listen, it's a close game. I mean, I, th this is not going to be anything easy. I mean, Cincinnati got a last-second field goal. And, of course, uh, Kansas City uh, they got the break of all time before the end of the half. And then they won the game in overtime. So, I mean, if, uh, they have been very fortunate. And, Sa and the Rams have played three close games. I don't uh, – no, forget the Arizona game. But the two games they played here previous were very, very close games. I don't see why this game wouldn't be any different than that. I do like the fact that the two teams have not played yet this year. Uh, I like that an awful lot, and I, I just have a funny feeling that Burrow, Chase, Higgins, who I love, Boyd, uh, Mixon's playing well. I, I just got to, you know, the, the two things I like about the Bengals in this game, they run the ball better than the Rams run the ball, and they got a better field goal kicker. That The Ram field goal kicker stinks, and M McPherson is great. So I like I liked the, I liked the Bengals on special teams a little more, and I, I, I think they will have a little more. I know the Rams have a great defensive front, but I think the Bengals will be able to run the ball a little better. I mean, I don't like, you know, the Ram running attack. Uh, you know, uh, I, we had the fumbles against Tampa. They did very little against San Francisco. He had 49 yards rushing. Uh, Acres, uh, you know, after all the fumbles against the Tampa in the week in the divisional game. Uh, and I uh, listen, Stafford's done a hell of a job. He's played well. He played great against uh, easy game, but he played well against Arizona. He played. He saved their bacon against Tampa. He won the game. He was great. And he was pretty good against San Francisco. Got a break at the, at the end with the intercept. He had a couple of drops, too, which were hurtful. Uh, but, uh, you know, he was, uh, you know, good enough against the Niners. Burrow is Burrow. 
Um, and I think that Burrow might play a little better. I don't know. I'm going to take the Bengals. I'm shocked that it's four and a half. This game to me is two points. Pick them one way or the other. I, I don't see any huge advantage for any of these two teams in this spot. And I worry about McVay. I mean, I really do worry about McVay. Um, you know, he did not coach uh, anything stupendous with Goff against uh, Belichick. You want to throw that one away? Go ahead. Uh, you know, he's been, this is his second Super Bowl, so he's a little more accustomed to it. Now, Zach Taylor was with him uh, a few years ago, right? Wasn't he uh, probably part of the staff when they played the uh, pa Patriots? I think he probably left after that year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but, I, I, you know, so he's a little more experienced than uh, the Cincinnati coaching staff is concerned. But he worries me a little bit in this game. I, I think a close guy. I'm not ready to give you a score yet, but I think in the 20s. I would play the under. What's the under? About mid 48, 47, somewhere in that area? I don't even know what the under is. But four, four and a half is way, 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 way too many points. Since, uh, I like Cincinnati on a money line. Forget the points. It's plus 170 on a money line. I like him there. As much as I like him anywhere else, I like that money line. But I, I listen, since I, I, if you're going to tell me the Rams are going to win 23 20, I wouldn't be shocked. So I think the smart play, if you're thinking about doing it, and we all are, right? I mean, the smart play to me would be take the points, take the Bengals, because I think the Bengals could win the game and they could cover. I think they could do both. Uh, the Rams did not cover against San Francisco, the first team that had won a game in the postseason that did not cover yet so far. 10-1 and one in that spot. They didn't. So they could win this game and not cover, and they could lose. The Bengals could win the game, lose, and cover. 48 and a half. 48 and a half is, I would take the under. So, see, the Bengals could win the game outright. I wouldn't be shocked. Or they could lose a heartbreak, a close game, and cover. I wouldn't be shocked. The Rams lost the game, I wouldn't be shocked. And if the Rams won a game and didn't cover, I wouldn't be shocked. So that's why, to me, the odds tell you to take Cincinnati. 48 and a half is a four, four and a half right now. It's four. All right. Well, I'd rather have the nick. I'd rather have the hook. But four is good. I'll take the points. Half past. We got a lot going on. Your calls. A lot of them up here. Uh, we'll get to in the course of this week. Jim Florio. Nine lines. I'd like to see that. Uh, Mike Florio.